just to make it a little bit more tangible, I think, yep. for the audience about what C3 is doing for its customers, um, all of those customers that you described either uh, have data centers, uh, sell products into the data center business, or supply power to the yep. data center industry. So I'm wondering if you could describe for us what some of those mitigation products are that uh, projects are that are related to data centers, just to kind of like give us a, a better idea of how it relates to what we're doing. <clears throat> I'll give you an example here in Northern California. Uh, Pacific Gas and Electric has over 34 different rate tariffs. And that's probably being generous. It's probably more than that. But 34 mm -hmm. that would be largely available to commercial industrial customers, including data centers. Yeah. They have about 30, 35,000 large CNI customers and they've got about 12 account executives to handle that customer base. When you go out and you do the research, you realize that given the lack of human capital that they have and the complexity of the tariff schedule and the customers, the, 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 the opaqueness of that tariff schedule to the customer, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to find examples where simply by moving them on to a different rate structure, by putting them onto a different tariff schedule that they qualify for, they can save money. Apart from reducing energy demand, it can simply get them onto a better rate structure which, which provides the savings. So sometimes just organizing the catalog of tariffs and incentives and rebates and efficiency programs that a large utility is already offering and making it more relevant and more accessible to their account executives and to their customers can by itself, and that's what we've already seen, dramatically improve that customer relationship.